See, church can make you lose harvest if you don't keep allowing church to be rebuilt for every generation until it comes into the fullness of what God's plans. And so when the Lord visited me when I was 18, he revealed to me first fruits. So built within me is the concept of first fruits. That hasn't been something new that has happened. That has been a 50-year process of building first fruits because it keeps the concept of harvest in you and keeps you looking for the ultimate harvest. Every month as I give my best to the Lord, it keeps me focused to keep looking for the harvest that has never come into fulfillment. And so that gives you an idea. Now, it also was important that I grew up on a lot of land and was the oldest son on that land. My dad had acquired all of that land from all the siblings of his uh, family bloodline. And uh, he worked hard. He was incredible. He had, a, he had incredible gifts and abilities, but then some way the enemy got into that inheritance. Now, that's why I've written, I wrote Possessing Your Inheritance. And, uh, but, Part of me had to understand the land and understand God's purpose for the land. And then my uh, mother's family came from Luxembourg, and when they got here, they were Huguenots that had to flee France, settled in Luxembourg. We went once there. And uh, when they got here, they married... My grandfather married a Chickasaw who, and the native people understand the land. So I was raised more by my great-grandmother and grandmother who were Chickasaw women who loved the Lord and understood the land. Therefore, I learned things that were imparted to me, and that was part of the custom the first grandchild was given to the, it's a matriarchal society, and it's, they were given to, so the grandmothers could impart in them knowledge about land. That gives you a little idea. So my whole life has been in some either rebuilding project or building project. And with that I have had to learn to build for the harvest. Now let me show you some things right quick because I do have something we have to do and I know we're limited on time and I, I don't want to drag this out, but I want you to understand how God is shifting us right now. This is a God shift. This is not a shift to just say let's go out and lead everybody to the Lord. That isn't what this is about, even though that is part of it, because he has people out there that he's ready to bring in to use in his kingdom purposes. And so, harvest requires harvesters. That's what Yeshua said in Matthew chapter 9. He said, lift up your eyes unto the harvest, uh, and uh, that means, and see the harvest because the harvest has to have some harvesters. And right now, there's an anointing being initiated on us for harvest. And you have to understand with all that's going through. Now, we started in times the moment the Lord went to the cross. So don't think we're just waiting. For the end times to come. That all started right then. You'll read through it in the word of God. But things are accelerating. Because the communication systems of the world are accelerating. And because of that, we're able to see the acceleration of end times better than we've ever seen it before. 
And we have to be ready. And if the Lord came back today, he would be looking for faith. That's what the Word of God says. If I came back, would I find faith? So you want to exhibit faith every day of your life that you can because he could come back. I don't believe we'll just be poofed out because the end time harvest is marked by wars and rumors of wars. Somebody say we qualify for that right now. And you can't let every war and every rumor of war get you knocked out of place because it's part of harvest. And uh, uh, a harvest can't come without a separation. A harvest can't come without a positioning, a proper positioning. And so a harvest requires a, a, a sickle being put in. This is what the book of Revelation says. There's this angel that brings this sickle, and all of a sudden, things start happening. And we have to have uh, places ready for this harvest to come into. That's why I prefer calling the church and its development right now a storehouse development. Because we're having to remake it for the harvest that is on the horizon. And so this is very key for us as we advance. Now let's look at what the year looks like. It really looks like this. It looks like uh, uh, an alignment of... Father, Son, and Holy Ghost in a way that he is breaking through now into the earth realm. And all twos, baits, bait is linked with building. So he's breaking through now from heaven into the earth realm and he says, you've started a new building process. Building means, the word in Hebrew means to add sons and daughters to, to uh, uh, prepare a structure and a foundation so sons and daughters can come into. Now let me go back to Jira. Notice when uh, Isaac submitted, Jira came down and God prophesied, reiterated the prophecy that he had given Abraham years prior, uh, probably uh, 50 years plus prior, and then prophesied to Isaac. Now, that's what's happening with the generations right now. Generations are aligning so we get the next piece of the prophetic revelation that God has for us to advance. So if you'll remember that he is bursting through the line of the tribe of Judah. And we become the line of the tribe of Judah in the earth. So we are starting to burst through. Tell somebody, you look, look like you're coming in through and into the new already. Now, so... When Yeshua said, lift up your eyes, go ahead, Chad. Lift up your eyes, uh, it's, he, what he's really saying is, it's time to get aligned, it's time for you to see, and it's time for you to build the, the church for the harvest ahead. Now, that's one of the reasons over these last three years I've prayed so much for you guys, because I knew you had to get positioned in some place where the foundation wasn't shifting on you, so you could start preparing for harvest. And that's what's going on right here. You are being positioned, and I love this place, uh, for the harvest ahead. And God had to get you more in a stable place. That's one of the things that I'm going to be sharing with you in a moment. Uh, and uh, I'm going to share how we're aligned all differently and we serve a role more all differently, but we're all called to harvest right now. 